grade 6 math number 5.6a, what are percents compared to fractions and decimals? A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. Per cent means per hundred. A century is 100 years. Century. See? Century. Per cent. Per hundred. The line slash with the two little circles is the percent symbol. It tells us it's parts of 100. So percents are parts of 100. Fractions are parts of 100. And percents can be written as fractions. 45% is 45 over 100. It's 45 hundredths. 72% is 72 hundredths. 1% is 1 hundredth. Whatever is in front of the percentage sign tells us it's parts of 100. Well, decimals are also parts of 100. 0.45 is 45 hundredths. It's 45 over 100 as a fraction. 45 hundredths. 0.72, 72 hundredths, is 72 over 100. As a fraction, it's 72 hundredths. 0 0.01, this decimal, is 1 hundredth. It means 1 over 100 as a fraction. Percents can be written as decimals also. When we have more than 100%, we have more than 1. If I ate 100% of the pizza, I ate the whole pizza. 100% means the whole thing, the whole 1. 115% means 1 and 15 hundredths. You can take away this percentage sign and put a decimal point right there. But you have to take the percentage sign away. It's 1 and 15 hundredths, 115%. 1.15. 250% is 2 and 51 hundredths, or 2.50, 2 and 50 hundredths. Take away the percentage sign and put the decimal point there. When you see the percentage sign, you have to automatically imagine that there's an invisible decimal point there with no percentage sign. So for every 100%, we get one whole. See? 250% is 2 and 50 hundredths. Well, 300% is 3 whole. 1,000% is 10 whole. It's like there's an invisible decimal point there, and we take away the percentage sign. Well, we can also go smaller than 1%. 1% just means 1 of 100, or 1 hundredth. 1,000, 1 1,000th means 0.1%. So we put a decimal place in front of the percentage number, see? Take a look at this. This green square has got 16 orange squares filled in. 16 of the 100 are filled in, 16 hundredths, okay? That's the fraction. But it can also be written as... 0.16 for 16 hundredths as a decimal. But it can also, we can also say it's 16% is filled in. See? 16 of the hundred. By putting a decimal point in front of the percentage, we make it smaller than one of a hundred. The percentage sign means there's already hundredths. Put a decimal in front of that, and we go smaller to thousandths. Ten thousands, hundred thousands. So the percentage sign means it's already hundredths. So here we have 0.5%. Well, that means it's smaller than hundredths because it's got a decimal point in front of it. See? It actually means five thousandths. 0.5%, it's got a decimal point and a percentage sign. That means there's two more spaces in front of it. That means it would be 0 0.005 without the percentage sign. What we do is we imagine that this 0.5% is really over 100. Okay? Just like this 1 is over 100 and it's 1%, it's also written as 0 0.01, right? So this 0.5% has got a decimal place and a percentage sign. To get rid of both the decimal place and the percentage sign, we multiply it by 10, a power of 10. So we imagine that this is over 100, okay? This 0.5. So we write it as 0.5 over 100 and take away the, de the uh, percentage sign. Now we need to take away the decimal. We multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, 
and it moves the decimal point to this side of the 5. It moves it that way, see? Now we've got 5 over a thousandth because that gets timed by 10 also, see? To read this, it would be 0.5%. Its meaning is 5 thousandths, okay? So here's some difference here to see right in front of you what they look like. 100% is one whole. 10% is 10 of 100. Because the percentage sign means that there's really a decimal point in front of the 1 if we took that percentage sign away. Think of it as the percentage sign is another way of having a decimal point there, okay? For hundredths. 1% 1 means 1 of 100. 0.1% means 1,000. 0.01% means 10,000. 0.001% means 100,000th. See? So watch the next video, 5.6b, to learn more about how to convert fractions, decimals, and percents. We're actually going to convert them, and I'll do them side by side so you can see them. This was just a little introductory to show you what percents are and what they look like, okay? So we're going to continue on this conversation in the next video in 5.6b, and I hope to see you there. Bye.